I was in the Air Force. It was one of the best things that ever happened to me. I loved being in the military. Uh, unfortunately, it was cut short because of uh, some bad choices I made. If it wasn't for tribal HUD Vash, I might be back out there getting high because I wouldn't have a place to be. When people have housing, when people have that anchor that they can trust and believe in, then they can go out and get their health care taken care of, go out and look for work, get involved in sobriety programs, get to the VA every day and participate in the services, the treatment that they need here. So housing is the key to starting your life and moving forward. Our homeless program consists of multiple programs that come together to help our homeless veterans. Tribal HUD VASH, the veterans have to be enrolled member of the tribe. Income from service-connected disabilities don't count. Literal homelessness is not a requirement anymore because part of the culture is, is that if somebody's on the street, you take them in. We always work on the premises of uh, unconditional positive regard. So no matter if the veteran, uh, let's say he relapses, we're not gonna kick him out. We're gonna walk alongside him. He goes to jail, we're gonna walk alongside him. There's a death in the family, we're gonna walk alongside him. You know, and that's what we're, we're building right now in the communities that we're serving. My worst fear was to end up back in jail because of not establishing myself. Other people reached out to me and told me you, you could go here because you're a veteran and they'll help you. And I asked VA for help and they helped. Elvina was referred to me from a bulk rehab specialist over in Rapid City and he was wondering if she could get into the TR house and the compensated work therapy program. This transitional house would offer all the facilities and their apartment type living. They do their own cooking. They're responsible to do all the outside work in the house cleaning alongside what their job is. Elvina has made great strides in all areas. She currently is working full-time in housekeeping at Indian Health Service, and she has also acquired a Hudvash home. Tribal Hudvash on the Pine Ridge Reservation. We have 20 vouchers. Right now there's seven three-bedroom houses, and as we add vouchers here, there's supposed to be an apartment building added. Tribal housing provides the housing for the veterans, so they decide what kind of housing they are going to put up and how they're going to use the vouchers to assist the veterans. The veterans that are in the homes here are incredible. They're very supportive of each other since the first veteran moved in, and I just enjoy going and visiting with the veterans, um, talking with them, interacting, seeing what's changed within their lives. When I see Heidi coming, I'm happy because uh, I talk to Heidi about everything. Personal issues, family issues, work issues, um, just everyday life. Um, she listens, she gives me good advice. Same way with Sandy, he was that way too. If I had a problem, I could call Sandy and talk with him, cry to him. I have a lot of gratitude for them. Nobody likes to ask for help. Nobody likes to, you know, take that first reach. But you gotta reach out. We're here to serve you. Alvina came through a lot of different steps to get here, and now she's actually completing the steps for the Native American Home Loan Program. And within two years, we suspect that she'll be a homeowner, and we'll be able to move her out of HUD Vash, move another one in, and start the process again with another veteran. That's what the program's designed to do, is to bring people through the process, back on their feet, and move them into home ownership. I would have moments of sobriety, and then I'd reach a certain plateau where I was having some pretty good success, but I always went right back down, crash. And it was like that for, I mean, time went by, time went by, I looked back, man, it was three decades. And this last time, I don't know what it was in me, I just feel like God was the one that made me have to seek help. And he, he used the healing the healing hands of these people at the VA to, uh, to help heal me and get me on the road to recovery. Michael came into the HUD-VASH department and they said, are you Native American? We have a, 
cool program that's especially designed for Native Americans, and he was referred to me. We met shortly thereafter and uh, completed an assessment process, and in Tribal Hood Vash, you get to pick where you want to live. And he found a place where he wanted to be, and I interacted with the landlord, and we got him moved in. I only house people in urban areas. I don't house anyone on the reservation. Different tribes are doing this differently, and my housing authority is the Tohono O'odham Keek Association. We don't have to wait two weeks to get apartment uh, inspected, and then a little while longer before the voucher comes through. We can get people in very quickly and bypass a lot of the headaches of a larger housing authority with many more rules and regulations. It was like a weight was lifted off me and I could relax and concentrate on trying to be who I am, you know, and just live and plan how I wanted to reach my goals and my successes. So yeah, it, was, it made a difference. It made the difference. He's a very caring person who, who loves working with others and who just needed a chance to get stable and get housed and, and go out and look for work again and become the guy he's been on and off his whole life that he wants to be forever. The veterans I'm working with are extremely grateful for the services they've gotten at the VA. They, they attribute VA staff to their sobriety and their housing and their their, the changes in their lives. People come in through our amazing homeless clinic here thinking that maybe someday they'll get a place to lay their heads and the very same day they're in housing. Don't do this by yourself. Get help. The VA's here. I mean, you, you know, if you served, you earned it and use it. Use it. These people here, they really, really want to help you. They care. and. Uh, you know, they don't just care for me, they care for any vet that comes in here and, and wants help. And it's okay to ask for help. It's okay.